For quite some time, I've been stuck at the fork in the road. Whether it's been days, months, or years, doesn't seem to matter because this is purgatory. To decipher if the sand timer is clogged or has been draining away into a vast abyss is quite the mystery. But what I am sure of is I need to make a decision. You see, what lies before me and us is two paths. A pair of paths that represent each one of our personalities. Carl Jung refers to these as personality number one and personality number two. Personality number one rests in the ego and is greatly associated with your outward identity. Personality number two resides deeper within your being, and here you will find the vast richness of the inner life. While these paths remain separate, they are part of a singular journey, and trekking both of these is crucial. Voyaging these roads leaving no stone unturned is daunting, and at times exhausting, but within this tiresome pilgrimage is a deeper understanding of self, and I regard that as fulfillment. The problem I've run into that has chained me to this purgatory is fear. You see, these paths aren't new revelations. I've been here before. My life revolved around personality number one. The fact-based existence of I'm this guy who works this job, who holds this social status, and is a brother, son, etc. is something I know all too well. Personality number one was my brightest star, my sun, and my reason to orbit. However, over time, personality number two revealed itself to me, and like a full moon, changed the tide of my life force and washed me ashore to a strangely familiar but foreign territory. The arrival was intoxicating, as I bore witness to a mystical side of life that appeared infinite. Unfortunately, the gravitational pull of this moon may have been premature, as I was stranded severely under-equipped with no knowledge, no wisdom, just a bit of youthful ignorance that propelled me to dive in. Little did I know I was plunging into an abyss. Thankfully it took mercy on me and violently spit me out whole, as it easily could have swallowed me, leaving no trace of my existence. Fast forward to present day, almost half a decade later of dwelling in personality number one, and the murmurs of personality number two have begun to surface, bubbling up one at a time as they are persistently beckoning me back. So now I stand here frozen in time, before the intricate abyss of personality number two. Running through my mind are the distant memories of being helplessly thrashed around and casted out. So what do I do? Do I lay dormant in my comfort? Or do I find courage in the sliver of wisdom and bit of knowledge I've obtained and unchain myself from this purgatory and answer the call to inner adventure? Peace.